Okay, welcome to day 14. It's really part two of day 13, but just to keep with the structure, this is day 14 of the building techno from scratch. My name is Tom Cosm. This is going to be the last stream before the live performance tomorrow, which is at 12 p.m. AEST. That's the Saturday in Australia, 12 p.m. AEST. Um, in the last stream we did, just an hour or so ago, I did a lot of optimization. I did a lot of problem solving and got everything all synced up which is good i'm just going to continue on from that and move across to our list of things that we have to do hello facebook hello youtube hello twitch how are you all doing um what's up facebook guy i don't i can't pronounce your name sorry i can't even understand the dialect of your name what country is that from is that eastern european the guy with the black and white profile photo very interesting language anyway so let's look at our list what have we got left to do we have drones and sound design so the order I'm going to do this in is variations on sound design I'm going to add some extra oomph to the tracks that I've already created plus one outro scene um, I'll do the different colors for clips thing as I go with that um, that's just going to help me along my way when I'm playing live then we're going to do fallers for each track so we've got eight fallers for eight tracks at the moment they're all white noise I'm just going to change them up a bit and make them a bit more relevant to the sound of the track then we're going to move over to the drones and the brainwave stuff um, we're going to design the drones and have eight macro knobs that change the drones in various ways then I'm going to get into the brainwave stuff so I've got a where have I put it this is my brainwave machine here. I'm going to put that on and get my brainwaves talking to Ableton Live. Um, I might not include that in the release of this techno set because I'm pretty sure a very few minority of you will have a brainwave machine, but I will leave the drones in there so you can automate them how you like or you can do them manually. And that's the last thing I'm going to do because that's a little bit technical. And last time I attempted to do this, some stuff crashed. So I'm just leaving that until the very end. And yeah, let's get ahead. Um, again, if you've got any questions or comments or anything you want to talk about, let me know. I'm reading all the chats. And let's try and get this done in under two hours. Because I want to get to bed early so I can get up and set up for the performance tomorrow. So the variations of the sound design. Let's have a look here. Again, I map these to track one, track two, track three, track four, track five. Let's go to track one. As you can see, I have a, uh, I added in these red clips, which really helped me. If you can see on the push here, we've got like a line of red that kind of, kind of tells me when the, uh, it's like a separator thing what i'm going to do though is because this is track one i'm going to change the color of this red one to uh, let me look at my push that's not a good color maybe that kind of purple i need to get my push up to track one so hold on a minute oh yeah that purple's quite good can you see it on the stream it's not that amazing let me my light off here so you can see with my light off that um on the separator track this one is now purple and that's kind of cool that's just to help me to know that everything below this is track one so i'm going to do that for all the tracks so track two this one will be purple track three this one will be purple again just a little helper get the lighting back on um yeah and as i said track one we have four uh, kind of scenes that lead up to sound so let me play this for you so this is a very intro type sound and then it moves up a little bit more Axel Christchurch yes I'm a Christchurch born and bred lad living in Melbourne but Christchurch is definitely my home so you can see how these kind of progress up and they progress up and then this is the main one this is the main loop 
very good. So what I want to do, I've got three extra scene slots here. I want to create two variations of the main one. I'm not going to go too crazy with it, just a little bit of variation. And then the last one is a stripped down version of the main one. I'm not going to be changing things like the sound or anything. I'm just going to reduce notes or add some notes, things like that, just so it's a little bit easier to transition between the tracks. Um, what I'm going to do on the main track here, which is always going to be the fifth scene in the track sequence, is I'm going to just drop down to the color below the one that it's currently set on. Um, let me just make sure this looks okay. The reason I'm doing this is just so when I'm looking at my push, I know which scene is the main one. So I can muck around with the previous four scenes, but when I want to drop, um, you can see them here blinking. Turn my light off again. So I'll trigger the scene here. You can kind of see that. You can kind of see that this scene here is different colors, so I know that's the main drop. Very good. Okay, so let's power through this. I'm gonna take, uh, I'm gonna solo each one at a time and individually go through it. Four, four, I am going to basically keep that. So I'm just going to control duplicate, control duplicate twice. Uh, the bass on the offbeat, let's have a listen to the solo with that. Okay, so what I might do here is go into the MIDI clip. Why is that one on offbeat? That should be... Okay, so I've made an error. That one that says offbeat, I must have overwritten it by accident. So I'm going to drag this out to its full extent, which is 16 bars long. Actually, I might make it nine bars long. I love that long note. So that's no longer offbeat. So I'm going to rename that to just main. Okay, let's duplicate that down now. So I'm going to call this main two. And let's trigger that trick. And let's just add in some notes like this. Make these a bit shorter. Maybe if I copy these guys across. Oh, it's a bit small for me to see there. Let's copy these guys across here so it kind of duplicates itself. I like that. What I'm going to do is delete this bar here. I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to paste it here. And what I might do for this uh, sixth bar here is I'm going to fold the track. I'm going to select these notes. I'm going to do the same as I did before, which was uh, make the grid size smaller. Is um, I'll just copy paste them here. Okay, it's doing it there, but that's all good. I'm going to select these and I'm going to use the... Ooh, yep, yeah, we got them. I'm going to use the invert function just as a test to see if that sounds cool. So instead of going down, they're going to go up. Let's see if that sounds cool. It doesn't really make much difference. I think these notes might need to be a bit longer. Down, down. So I'm going to unfold the track. I think that could do with another note there. So this is it's kind of three beats long. We'll make this one slightly less than three beats long, like so. Down, down. I wonder if we can go down all the way to the very low G. Probably won't be a 
bass sound, but it'll be A sound. That kind of sounds cool. And we'll drag that out into the bar. What's up, Koo Hertz? How you doing on Facebook? And then I'll just make these ones here. I'll make this the first, the second, and the fourth, or the fifth, sorry, the first, the third, and the fifth one longer, just to add a bit of variation. That's quite a cool feeling to it. Okay, so that is the main bass done. The snare two and four, um, let's copy that down and listen now. So it's just going to be in the off beats, I think. Yep. Let's maybe just add one in like that. And let's make it four bars long. We'll duplicate that four times just so right at the end we can have dun 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 dun. Whoops. Across. Remember, I don't want to change the sounds here because we can do all that with our controllers and all of our effects. Uh, I'm just going to go multi one for that. Now let's listen to the offbeat hi hat. So obviously we have one short, one long. We're using velocity. So for this one, I might make it a little bit different. I might just make all of the velocity the same for these ones. So I'm going to select them all, drag the velocity down, and then drag the velocity up. Too much. It sounds good. I accidentally duplicated these, I don't need that. So it's quite busier. So we'll just go busier one. And then the 16th notes here, I should stop using solo, let me use the actual volume controls. So the 16th notes here go like so, so I'm going to duplicate that down, let's have a look at our MIDI clips here. So we've got quite a few rolls, what I might do is make it 4 bars long, bring the grid size smaller, duplicate that 4 times. and play it and then make the grid size smaller. I like these rolls here so I might just do half a bar of rolls like that and maybe this make this one a long one mm, I think I'm just gonna add a lot more little of these little notes in here And velocity is obviously important here. I kind of like that one, how it goes one, two, three, four. Let's just make the fourth bar completely chaos, and we'll just do. I keep saving by accident. Um, I need to select all those. Copy, paste. Yep, duplicate, 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 duplicate. Okay, very good, but with the velocity for this one, I'm going to hold down control and do a ramp down and a ramp up. Oops, don't want to change them all. I think that sounds pretty cool. Let's listen with the rest. Sounding good. I might just go into my hats too here. Do this one and the synth. Bring the volume up a little bit. Very good. Let's just make sure it doesn't affect the other scene too badly. 
That sounds good. Okay, we're back to this scene here. Very good. Here's our main loop. Bring the volume up. Copy that down. That's our percussive loop. I'll keep that as one loop, but I'm going to add in some little quick notes. Maybe that's more appropriate here. And it could sound cool maybe on the third beat as well. Dun, 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 dun. Sounds good. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let's copy this main synth down and play that. So I'm going to bring away everything, bring up the synth. I might just add in some really short notes here. I will fix this up in a second, hold on. Let's make all these velocity down. Pretty techno. It's important that that one is quite long. Maybe make these shorter even. So again, I'm just creating little variations of the main loop so we can progress when it finally drops. Cool. So it's currently less than a bar long, so we're getting a poly polyrhythmic thing. I'm happy with that. Let's move over to the chords high. So this is just like one single chord. It's good with reverb. And amongst other things. So what I'll do is I'll drag that down. Um, I should, hang on, rename these. What do we have for the percussion? I'm just going to go faster one. And this one here. This is faster as well. Faster one. And back to the chords. Uh, what's up, Facebook? Lots of messages, sorry. Let's have a read. Uh, this controller is here, your main live stuff, like mixes, pushes, and the launch pad. For this particular set, yes. One, two, three, four, they're going to be the main controllers. I'm going to be using the touch screen on the computer for the automated machine. And this little guy, which reads my brain waves. But that's the very last thing we're going to do on the stream. Um, and this is a great setup. This fits in a normal kind of laptop or backpack. You can carry it on on the plane. Um, with the laptop, not very heavy. Well, it is a bit heavy with the push, but it all fits into carry-on baggage, which is good. So with this chord high, I'm just going to add some more of these chords. Let's try bringing this back one and down an octave. Let's add a few in here. See how that sounds with everything else. And lots of fun to be had with effects on that.
Give it the reverb. Play with the filter. Very good. Track one. Let's bring everything in. So this synth one is kind of annoying, but I can use the cutoff filter to get rid of that. Or I could use the uh, low pass. Okay, excellent. So that is our first variation. Let's rename this to chord faster one, faster one. So again, if you can kind of see what I'm doing here, I'm just making two different variations of the main drop. I'm going to copy all of these down like so, and let's bring all the levels down. What monitors do I use? Really shitty ones. Uh, they're Mackie MR2. MR2s, Mark 2 or 3s. I got them second hand on uh, a trading website for like a hundred bucks. Um, because I was moving so much in my career, it was never a good investment at the time for good monitors. But I have actually been here now for two years, so next time I've got a good wad of cash, um, I'll get good monitors. But along with that, I also need some help from people who know their shit. Um, I've got friends who are really good sound designers, um, you know, what do you call it? Doing the room properly with the right pads and where to position things and all that kind of stuff. So I need to invest a bit of time into that as well. Uh, and that's two things I don't have at the moment is lots of money and time to do that. But I usually produce incredibly quietly anyway. Um, if I want to crank it, I put on my headphones and I try to do a lot by visual stuff. You notice I don't really use lots of compressors or mastering plugins. I just try to use EQs and make everything sit nicely. I'm a big fan of dynamics. So yeah, that's the monitors. The actual things that make sound is, is one way. Uh, Arkley's heel, Ar Archimedes, no, Arkley's heel, is that the one? The weakness, that's, that's what I don't know much about. So never ask me questions on mastering or monitors <laughs> unless you want a shit response. Yeah, I'm doing another one because I want to perform this tomorrow. So what's the time? It's 8 o'clock now, so that means I've got 14 hours until I'm going to actually perform this in a live stream tomorrow. Acoustics, Ada says. That is the word I was looking for. Um, it does have stutter effects. We'll get into that later. Django. On Facebook, for your information, the stream is in mono. The stream on YouTube is in stereo. That is interesting. I did not know that. So Facebook must convert the audio to mono, and YouTube keeps it stereo. Hmm. I guess YouTube and Twitch are kind of made for gaming, and it's very important for people to be able to hear the stereo spectrum. I also noticed that when I finished streaming on Facebook, um, the max resolution, the saved video is 720, whereas I'm actually streaming in 1080. So I think YouTube is more kind of catered towards people who aren't doing production. I'm streaming on, uh, sorry, Facebook, I mean. I'm doing it on Facebook anyway. But um, yeah, I imagine that's probably the, their reason to cut down bandwidth and stuff. And most of their streamers don't do audio intensive related stuff. Uckley's Heel, that's it. Thanks, Shango. Hey, hey, Sivek, what's up? What's up, Sizai? Sikshkin? I'm sorry, like, I, I try to pronounce words that have English letters, but when they don't have English letters, I just have no idea. So I apologize if I get your name wrong. No, I said um, Django over on Facebook, chat, who you currently can't see because you're on Twitch, said that he checked, and on Facebook, this is a mono, but on YouTube, it is in stereo, and it would be in stereo on Twitch as well. Um, and again, I, I think the reason is YouTube and Twitch 
are quite gaming focused where that is important whereas youtubers kind of selfie hey this is my life uh shit like that so yeah it's probably not not optimized for audio but i stream on facebook anyway um why not okay so we've made the second one here i'm not going to get too sidetracked we're going to move across um i'm going to just keep the 4-4 kick here let's bring it up very good let's bring up the bass so let's make this one a little bit busier okay let's just do some octave work on this one to make it a bit more interest interesting so I'm just selecting some random notes and pushing up and let's uh, make these ones longer so they extend out over the bar so kind of just as it progresses through the main drop part we're getting longer notes Yeah, I think I'll do a digga 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 there. So I'm just gonna copy. Oops, copy that clip. Thank you for the follow, Seco PC Gamer over on Twitch. Much appreciated. Welcome along. So, oops, we need to paste that here, and I'm just gonna duplicate. Oh, make sure we select the right time. I'm just gonna do it like this. Um, I'm not gonna do anything with the velocity. Let's just have a listen. Yeah, it's cool. And here we've got, we'll do the octave thing again. So I'm just shift up, shift up, shift up. And yeah, we'll make these notes longer. Dong, dong, dong. Well, that doesn't need to be there, but this needs to be shorter. I think I might make these ones incredibly short as well. So instead of a big long one, we have lots of low Gs, which aren't going to really have any sub to them, but it might sound cool anyway. Ah, uh, yeah, I think that's cool. Okay, let's bring in the snare multi. Let's rename this to main three. Bring the snare. I might delete that extra one that I added. We'll put it here instead. Maybe two here. We'll make them short. I actually might make this eight bars long instead. So I'm going to bring the grid size down, duplicate that across. I keep saving by accident. Um, so here I won't have those two. And then at the end of the eight bar phrase, I will. Yeah, what's up everybody? How's it going, K37? It's going well. Well, the thing see back is because we're not using samples, we can't really do a reverse kick unless we get into the actual synthesis, which I can't do. But however, over on the automated tracks, we've got things like corpuses and stuff so we can emulate the sound of a reverse kick drum. Um, and that's something I'd like to do on the fly when I'm performing. Obviously, as I said, I really want the focus to be on imp improv when I'm playing. So all this stuff here that you're looking at, these eight tracks are very source related. I don't want to have almost any effects or anything weird with them because all the weirdness comes after with the live stuff. Okay, I'm happy with the snare. Let's put this busiest hat in. Let's rename this to two. So this busier hat, let's make it four bars long. I don't think we need to do too much more than just have an offbeat. 
Maybe let's just do like some triplets here instead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we'll do two quick ones, just like that. See, what, see if that sounds cool. We don't want too much variation here. And I might just uh, copy these two and put them here as well. Because we do have a big hi-hat roll here. Sounds good. So that is busy at two. 16th notes, let's bring them in. Okay, I'm gonna go crazy with these fast 30 second notes here. So let me just re remove the grid size. Uh, I'm gonna copy one bar. I'm basically gonna have one, sorry, one beat with six, uh, 30 seconds and then one beat with 64s and see how that sounds. Let's make the loop size just one here. Uh, we'll go all delete, we'll click here and we'll go paste. Grid size smaller, like so. Bring these a bit shorter, and let's just duplicate that twice. See what it sounds like. And I'm going to select these and use Control to make them build up to those off beats. We'll do the same here. What I might do is bring the velocity down of these ones. It seems to change the timbre a bit. Or we could give these a little bit of uh, life by moving them individually. Yeah, so I'm going to copy those across. Very good. Excellent. Let's take the bass out. Uh, we need to rename in these, uh, we'll just go 30 second, and then this one, mini 30 seconds, it's just how I'm naming things. Right, percussion. Okay, that's a one bar loop. Let's just make it into three beats long. Symbol. Sorry, I've just made that polyrhythmic. Very good. Bring in synth one. Now oh, we should rename this. We'll go faster poly. Maybe if I just take all of these and bring them down an octave. It's probably going to conflict with the bass. Let's try half, half an octave. It's kind of cool. What I might do is bring these down an octave. And that one too. It's pretty chaotic, but that's okay. I can mix that when I'm playing. I think this third one in the series of the main stuff is just in case I want to go really nuts. Final one is the faster chords. Uh, rename this to Oct Up. Oct Up. Very good. 
these chords faster. I'm just going to make this one bar long. And let's, um, go. Uh, let's just do this. And we'll make these really short. Oops, Windows key. I'm happy with that. Very good. So it goes from this. but that's okay as I said and when we're performing we can cater to that so the final ones um, I'm gonna copy the first main one and bring it down like so oops shit what I just do undo change track volume okay so I'm gonna copy these main ones down here and I'm just gonna strip them back a little bit so let's bring everything down Yeah, the thing with like making the kick longer or making the hat shorter, that's all stuff we can do live. Um, what's up everyone on Facebook? There's lots of chat going on now. I'm sorry I'm not paying attention or if I miss your message. I really want to bust this out in a few hours, so I'll try my best. Okay, so the last track, as I said, I want this to be a real wind down type track. So maybe if I change the color down one even more, just so on the push, I know that this is the wind down track, even though it's going to be fairly obvious because it's right next to all of those red placeholder tracks, but we might as well. So this is the main loop. So, kick. Uh... Yeah, that doesn't really do anything. I'm going to keep that as a 4-4. Four, four. I think I might just loop this area here. It's kind of an outro thing to do. Loop selection. Okay, that's good enough. I want to just keep it on four, that's fine. What I'll do with these hats is I'll make them all quite low velocity. The sixteenth. Let's just get rid of these. Very good. See, it's kind of a stripped back version. Main percussion. So obviously you can see the velocity where the high points are. So I could even remove any of those ones which aren't high velocity. Simple. That's what I want. Uh, let's listen to the main synth. Get rid of these. Whoops. Maybe just one, because it's polyrhythmic, it'll be kind of a creepy outro. Yeah, that'll be quite fun. And the chord's high. Let's bring that synth down. 
Let's just make this quite low. We'll make it quite long as well. Alright, I'm quite happy with that. So that's my outro, and that means I can start triggering clips in here. So number one done. Fruity Loops Ableton discussion on Twitch. David, am, am I going to release any albums soon, Tom? No. Uh, I, I don't release albums. I tried a couple of times. It doesn't work for me. Uh, when I finish a track, like an actual track, I just render it and put it on SoundCloud for free, and it just works simple i don't i don't sell my music i don't have any need to make an album um oh well, maybe that's a bit of a cop out i just don't think i have the attention span to write 10 tracks and not share them with everybody as soon as they're finished and, and hoard them and then release them all at once cool uh yeah okay let's move on so that okay i should save this I'm going to save this live set as 10.1.2, track 1 complete. Excellent. So, again, in track 2, we've got this. And then it moves up to this. And then to this. And then to this. And here's the main loop. Okay, so let's just go ahead and copy all these down like I did before. Um, we'll change the colors. What are we doing here? Color. 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 Like so. Actually, that needs to be here. So I'll copy those up, and then I'm going to duplicate them back down again. Okay, let's start with the kick. Uh, no, the kick's just going to be 4-4 four, four all the way throughout. I think that's going to be the same for all of the tracks. Um, I can, of course, use the push to program a new kick drum if I want. But let's start mucking around with this here. So, first the bass. Okay, so it's a uh, offbeat, obviously just fukdung. Maybe if I just make it longer, not much of a difference, but that's all I need. That's done. Let's bring in the snare. It's quite a cool clap we made there. Um, I'll do the same thing as I did before. Make this four bars long. Let's turn my grid off make the grid size smaller, duplicate that across four times, and we'll just do a little roll at the end. Da, da, da. That's alright. It doesn't have to be yeah, it doesn't have to be like syncopated or swung. It's techno. Okay, so we'll just call this uh three end. Sounds good. Off hats. Uh, what happens if we make these shorter or longer? No, I can do that all in the synthesis. How about just that? Very good. Fast hat. So offbeat, I'm just going to call this offbeat var 1. Again, we've got a lot of crazy shit happening here, so I might just bring the length down to one bar. Let's um, copy these and paste them here. And have them coming down. 
Very simple. I'm just going to call this fast var one as well. Okay, next we have the percussion pattern. What if we make all these a bit longer? No, the envelopes are controlling the length. It's quite a long loop. Let's make it four bars long. Zoom in. That goes all the way up to that octave. I think I might just add in some extra notes. So. I wonder if I just do this and duplicate it. That'll be good. I'm trying to be as time efficient as I can here. Awesome. Seabeck music. Glad you're enjoying it. So just the addition of that note, that's good enough for this one. So I'm just going to call that main pattern one. Let's go to our main synth. This could probably sound good maybe with some uh, moni uh, polyphonic stuff. So let's try. I'll, use, I'll duplicate instead. Oh no, it won't because it'll be in monophonic because we've got a slide. Maybe just bring these two up higher. And it, oh, maybe we'll go there and then we'll go back up to this note. This is power sound design. Up to the C. It's melodic, but why not? And we'll go back down to that B flat halfway through. So by leaving a bit of a trail, I'll do the trail here. It'll do a little glide for us. Okay, happy with that. Main line one, we'll call it. Now onto the moving chords. I think we have some LFO on the cutoff, do we? Definitely hear some changing in the cutoff. What have I done here? I'm looking at the wrong synth. Okay, so we do have another fill in the cutoff. So. Let's just move some of these around and then for the third variation I'll do some octave or some uh, transposition. Maybe even if we make this a polyrhythmic one that would be cool. Make this low. Yep, I'm happy with that. Moving poly. Okay, that one is done. Let's duplicate all of that. Yeah, lots of progress. You can always go and check YouTube forward slash Cosm Cosm. Um, all of the series are there if you want to catch up on anything. What's up over Facebook? More people. Hello. Okay, so now this is our fourth variation. I'm going to keep the kick as it is. Oh, no, fuck it. Let's make this kick a broken beat. Let's play this uh, track. I 
why not? Let's bring everything down. And now that we've got a broken beat, we could do... Do we want it like that, or do we want it poly? I like a poly, it's confusing, it's good. Let's bring in the snares. Okay, we don't need those three claps at the end. Let's just make this two bars. Let's just duplicate this four times. That's kind of cool. Hi hats. Let's rename this. So this is now broken. This is now poly. Yeah, I really want to have a lot of poly variations. We'll go two, four, and I don't know, a run. Okay, on the hats. Yeah, it's cool. One note changed, but that's good enough for me. Bring in the clothes hats. Maybe if we just make these eighth notes, because now the um, offbeat is not happening. Are those, are they? Yeah, they're still sixteenths. Good size, smaller. No, they're still sixteenths. My apologies. Let's just go ahead and remove some. Yep. Ah. Uh, I think I like the runs still because this is still su supposed to be quite chaotic. Maybe we'll poly this up as well. So let's borrow these notes. And let's have a look here. Maybe paste them here. And let's let's make this poly as well. Let's bring the velocity down to these ones. And maybe just one more sixteenth note here to kind of signify the end of the polyphrase. Sounding good. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let's bring in the percussion. So I want this one to be kind of crazy. We'll only make it two bars long. What if, if what, what if we just add some more notes in here? Kind of follow along with the kick, maybe. Maybe make these up an octave. Yeah, I like that. And this one will take all three of these and go down an octave. Um, and we'll have them leading up. We'll go to the C and then to the F.
kind of go. Okay, I'm happy with that. Where are we here? Uh, I'm just going to call that main pattern two. Uh, no, I, I tend to keep the polyrhythms going for this kind of techno music. Usually. Okay, let's go for the synth line. Okay, for this one, because it's the craziest one, let's make these all extremely short. The shortest they can be for a start. Very good. And then we'll drag them out just a little bit. Select them all again and drag them out a little bit. And let's just do a kind of an arpeggiator type thing. I think the velocity... Okay, it kind of comes in quite loud, so the notes need to be longer. Did I triple up my grid there, or are these just all off beat slightly? I kind of want 16th notes here. I think I'm in triplet grid mode, I am. can't really hear shit though um, that's because I've got this cut off hmm okay scrap that idea we'll just have one big long note for two bars see how that sounds and then we'll go down to the low G here and we'll finish in a similar style with We'll go two eight, eight, eighth notes like this. Actually, we'll make these an octave low. Mm, we'll make it two bars long. It really needs long notes here. The eighth notes obviously have an attack on them, so we'll just start with a long note. But because this is in monophonic, if we maybe throw some quick notes up quite high, it would do some weird shit. So let's just try an octave up and throw a note here. Dun, yeah, that could be cool. Go up an octave with that one. No. That sounds good. Maybe not up the octave, maybe to the minor third. Maybe the minor third above. Right up. Yeah, it's quite techno. needs a bit of a boost there I think the synth could be slightly louder in general
Okay, I'm happy with that. Very good. Let's take this one and copy it down to here. This is going to be the one that dies. I might copy the broken beat down. So let's play this scene. Remember it needs to be stripped back a bit. So for the kick, chunk, 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 chunk. Let's just have one and 1.3.3. And let's just have a nice long note. Oh, we'll make it two bars long. Okay, that's good enough. Okay, snare. I want to keep that as two and four, so we'll leave that. The hats. That's cool. All right, fast gonna make this one bar long I might just make this real simple sixteenths sounds good main pattern so we want to strip this one back again let's make it four bars long get rid of that octave one Maybe make this one long and this one long and get rid of this one. No, that's not going to work because the envelope's fucking with it. So let's zoom in a bit here. Make the grid size smaller. Let's just go donk, donk, donk. All good, make that two bars long. Remember, this just needs to be a bit of an outro thing, so it doesn't need to be busy. Bring that one down an octave, maybe. What's up, NZ Schism, 72nd Human, Flex XZ. Sounds good. Let's get the main line going on here. So this needs to be really stripped back. I might just even just have one low G playing for this. That's cool. Problem solved. Okay, the chords. Hmm. Good outro loop to me. Very good. I'm happy with that. So let's go up and what color do we choose? It was that one. Okay. I'm just going to copy that clip and paste it here so we know that this is track two. We'll go save as, and this is 
three track to complete. Very good, and let's move ahead to track three now. So that is an interesting start. Wait, that needs to be there. So this builds up to this. This is the main loop. Super hectic. Okay, I'm going to take a quick bathroom break. I'll be back in two minutes. Don't go anywhere. Okay, we're back. Let's power on with track number three. So here's the main one. So change the colors. You guys can probably tell that I'm speedy mode at the moment because I really want to get this done within at least the next two hours or three hours so I can get to bed at a reasonable time so I can get up and be all fresh for the performance tomorrow. If you just tuned in, I'm going to be performing this tomorrow at 12 p.m. AEST Saturday, which is Australian time, Australian Eastern Standard Time. So that's the main drop. Let's copy that down. Again, I'm we'll bring everything down. We'll keep the 4-4 kick for everything. So the main loop here. Okay, so that's kind of quite a cool loop. On the main one here, oh, that's a really long one. What I might do just to busy this up is make the grid size smaller, select that, and just loop this area. It's not quite right. I'll just make that a one low G like so. Mm, maybe just on the offbeat. Okay, I'm happy with that. Main two. Bring in the. Let's not do a traditional techno thing. Yeah, that's good. I'm just gonna go broken. I should probably play this one. Bring on the hi hats. Again, not much I can change here. I might just leave that as is. Maybe make them shorter. Yep, all good. Bring in the sixteenth. So I'm just going to muck around with the velocity here. What I might do is I'll just pick these ones, have the velocity come up, and then come down. Oops. No 
much of a difference, but it's good enough. Off the main two. Let's get rid of that snare. Okay, the percussion. Okay, I'll simply just go off a semi tone with these. I think it'll be cool. I'm happy with that. Since one. We'll go main off feed. I'm just gonna go one now. Naming is not important. So this is in poly. Maybe we'll do the semitone thing as well for this one. one uh, 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 uh. Yeah, that'll I could create a cool build up with that, I think. Kind of makes me think I should change the bass line instead of that. I'll go up semitone. I like this up semitones thing we're doing. go on and change the sound anytime I want. Synth, it's three harmonics, this one here. We'll just call this main poly one. Let's have a look here. This is one single note, so we'll do the semitone thing as well, but maybe every beat, every bar. We'll make it a four, four bar loop. No, maybe we should go like this, up and down, make it one bar. No, I think I want to keep it at four bars, we'll remove these, we'll duplicate that, one, two, three, four, we'll bring these up an octave, oops, not that one, and we'll bring these ones up an octave. I think it's a little bit too much, we'll just leave it for the end. Okay, very good, I'm happy with that. Let's move down one more, this was the Chaos one. So, main one, again, bring everything down, just bring in the kick, play, bring in the bass line. Make sure we trigger this scene. Hmm. I might start from scratch here, so I'm just gonna command all delete, zoom in. Sorry I'm not paying much attention to the chat, you guys. Like I'm on a very limited time frame here. But I'm glad you're watching. I'm very happy you're here. Uh, what notes did I just delete? It's on G0. This goes this is go do no 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 the side chain will take care of everything. Or we'll make them we'll make them kind of triplety things like this. So we'll just duplicate those. And we'll make it polyrhythmic. Yeah, fuck why not? Uh with the sneer. Why not? Fuck the second and fourth beat. Alright, hat. I think the hats on the offbeat still should remain. 
because they kind of keep a little bit of sense of uh, stability. Sixteenths, I'm not sure what to do with here. We could just go completely nuts. Okay, let's make this four bars long. And let's actually do triplets. I think that's pretty cool. Only needs to be two bars long. I'll roll with that. I'll go sixteenth trips. Okay, the percussion. If we make these shorter, make the crit size smaller and just double them. Ooh. Control Z any of that for some reason. I'm just going to uh, copy this down. Maybe we can get down a semitone. Dun 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 dun. That sounds good, but that octave one doesn't. That's pretty chaos. Okay, happy with that. And I guess we'll do a similar fashion with this one. And we'll make this note longer. keeps things together because of the uh, rhythmical automation. Glad you're enjoying it guys. So it's doing harmonic stuff. Maybe I could go down really low. It's more like a hat there. Really high. Really high and then maybe like down a semitone. Down a semitone, down a semitone. See how that sounds. Maybe too high. Let's take that all down an octave. I'm happy with that. I know it sounds really chaotic at this stage, but again, with effects and everything, we want this third one to be over the top. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that. Now I'm going to copy the main one back down to here. Again, this is the outro kind of loop. So once again, let's bring everything down but the kick, play it. Let's just go, because it, let's just go one, two, Simple in the bass. Okay, this is chaotic. I'm just gonna make this one bar, delete everything, zoom in. Maybe we could do something kind of carna carnival y, car carnival esque. Down to the E flat. The, the D, the D. 
think that would actually sound better with the full four. It's not really techno though. Maybe if we had a low G in here. I kind of like that. A little bit of silliness to end this one. Cool, let's make this four bars long. Duplicate that across four times. Very good. Hats. Whoa, what did I hit then? Keep it on the off beats. I'm just going to leave the 16th. Moving down to the D. subtracting now let's actually not make this poly let's make this exactly two bars long and then we'll just go down to the lower G and make it long whoops excuse me thanks for the follow hi Sue on twitch Too happy. Okay, I think this bass is too happy. We'll go with the semitone thing because that's what we were doing originally. It's still a bit twisty. Final one. Whatever. Naming, I'm just gonna wait because I'm running out of time. This one's quite hard because it's got like a uh, rhythmical gating built into the actual synth. Zcratch, quick question from previous streams, you made the Riser Resurrector, you couldn't just turn the device on with a clip you were triggering anyway, uh, we made quite a lot of progress in that in the previous stream if you haven't watched, so that's all sorted now, um, that's all fixed up and tidied, um, I'm not going to cover it now, but yeah, go back one series and have a look. That's still kind of carny feeling, let's just make it two bars long.
Yeah, that's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, I consider that done. That was track number three. So let's go save live set as 1.1.4 track uh, three complete. This is taking me a bit longer than I thought, but that's okay. Very good. What device's gear will use for the live performance? This. All of this. These four things you're seeing here. And track four. Progresses up. So this is the main loop, so we're going to recolor things. Oh no, don't freeze shit. Ugh. Sometimes when I'm, I'm in a hurry, I make mistakes like that. Slow down, Tom. Deep breaths. Should put the ambient music back on. So awesome, main loop. And everything's going crazy. Back to normal. So that was just the dummy clips firing. So let's copy this across. Down one. Again, bring everything down but the kick. Pretty sure I'll just keep a 4 4 kick, so we'll duplicate that. And let's play this track. I like that bass line. How about we just make it two bars long and duplicate it and give it a tiny bit of phrasing. Yeah, triplets. Into the triplets at the moment. Good enough. Snare. Good enough. one's quite complicated already. Maybe I'll just stick to a traditional offbeat for this. Keep them short, low velocity. Cool, that's done. Again, if you're just following us or you're not familiar, there's a whole barrage of effects and things that we've done on, over here. So we're just working on the source sounds at the moment. We've got reverbs, effects, glitch machines, all kinds of stuff to work with this material, but I want this as raw as they can be. So if you're wondering why I'm not like using any external devices or effects, 16th. Usually pretty much the same. Let's just do a little couple of rolls. Sounds good. one bar for now. Maybe poly. It's called Tuka Tuka. What if I bring this up an octave? 
doesn't really matter. Windows key. Okay, I'm happy with that. So we've got a call and response here. I'm just going to double this up. Oh, we've already done that there. That's good enough. Let's change the response. We'll make this one nice and static. I do like that. Maybe bring just bring this down an octave. And that down an octave. No. I'm happy with that. Very good. I'm gonna roll with that. What have I haven't I named? I'm just gonna call one response one. Very good. Let's copy these down. So this is the chaos one. Let's trigger the track. We'll keep the kick how it is. I'm just gonna make this one loop and we're gonna go for the ducka 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 ducka. Sounds good. Chaos. City down even more. Up. Let's make them all the same size. Sounds good, sixteenths. Sixteenth, see what happens. 
We're gonna have lots of fun with this. I might change every second one to be a little bit shorter. Not you. Cooler and poly. All right. Just thinking here. Dun, 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 dun. Let's bring all that up an octave. Call for the response. How about just a big long note there? Because we've gone fast, we'll respond with slow. Maybe that'll work, maybe it won't. Like it to be good with it. Thanks for the follow. Snail Snail. Sonali Snail on Twitch. Let's do the naming on track three. Oh, we're on track four. Awesome. So now uh, let's do a one. This needs to be a two. Uh, we'll change that to roll. I'm just going to name this to two. Name this to two. Three, we'll put six cents just so I know. And then response is long. So now we just need to wind that down. So I'm going to copy these across. Play this. I think we'll just go single dug for this one. It's a good way to finish. Good. Uh, I 
was supposed to copy this one across, my apologies. Oh, that's pretty much the same thing anyway. Yep. Gonna make all these short. That was cool. Bit weird, here's the sixteenth. This be really crazy and just do three like this. No difference. It's funny. I'll make it to bar, uh, half a bar. Okay, sounds good. Let's make that one bar. And we'll make it this. And the call and response here should be very minimal. Dun dun. Yeah, let's just make that two bars long. And for the response, we'll also make it two bars long. Dun dun. Let's go all the way down to a G. I'm happy with that for track number four. Very good. So we need to make that one pink. This is track three. This is track four. Okay, four to go. This one starts here. Okay, I'm going to have a two, three, four minute break. Getting quite a lot of drop frames here. Sorry about that. I don't know what's up with the net. Thank you all for tuning in. I will be back, yeah, in two or three minutes and we'll continue on powering out these variations. Be back soon. <laughs>
Hey guys, sorry, I'm just going to be a few more minutes. Um, I've just got something quick to take care of. Hang in there, two more minutes. Okay, we're back. Moving on to track number five. Powering these out. Um, I do hear Z Cratch. I know exactly what you mean. Um, once I've done the uh, sound stuff, we'll uh, have a look at that. So track five starts like this. Moves up, moves up. Let's just go straight ahead to the main part. Do the coloring. This is taking me quite a bit longer than I thought, which is totally okay, but yeah, I may have to do another stream in the morning, I'm not sure yet. Anyway, so that's the main lead there. Let's copy these down, duplicate, bring everything down. Nice sub kick there. Let's bring in track five. Maybe just polyrhythmic, that's a really quick way to get things cool. It's a bit too disorienta disorientating. I don't know if that's ideal. Just has to be a little bit more, remember this one? Maybe a docker. You just make that. A loop like that. Let me make that a low. No. That's cool. That's cool. All right. I'm just going to keep that. What's up, Helvin? How are you doing? I don't think I'll change the off beats here either. Sixteen, so I wonder what these will be. Okay, this is polyrhythmic. So maybe if we just sub subtract instead of add for that, it'll be, it'll be cooler.
about a 30 second and I will do that next okay that's all good so this is a polyrhythmic thing let's fold the track I think that's good enough. That's good enough. This is a weird one. A lot of uh, envelopes and stuff in the synth, so maybe if we just make this one bar long. It's kind of annoying, maybe an octave lower would be better. Sound like Chewbacca is down here. That could be cool poly polyrhythmic as well, maybe. Maybe here. Yep, that'll do. Okay, since one. You guys can tell I'm really powering through now. We're on track five. Is that good? I'm gonna go just duplicate that three times. Maybe if we duplicate that and then invert them. I'm happy with that. So listen. Be a little bit too busy for this. Let's just remove every third one, or uh, we'll go like this. See what happens. No, it's dumb. Okay, we'll roll with that. <sighs> Main base two, two and four, they're good. That's a bit different. Main poly one. I'm just gonna rename these one. I'm running out of time for naming things. Yo yo yo! Solo boat music. Solo bot. Cool. All right. Let's copy these down. Make them super crazy, and then move on. Check the track. That's weird polyrhythmic, but I kind of like it. I'm just going to go fuck it and leave it for that second one, not for the third one. Actually, no. For this one, I will make it half a bar. For this one, let's make it three. 
and we'll just continue this 16th note thing going on here. you can do there I might just delete the second and fourth ones no we want this to be crazy okay that's good 16th Let's just make this one bar long. Ah, session view, arrangement view. I didn't save track four complete. I should do that now. Uh, five, track four complete. with it. I like that pattern but it kind of interferes with this quite a lot. Maybe we could um, again get rid of these. Okay that sounds good. Let's unfold this, zoom out a bit, it's quite an arpeggiated type thing. We might make this one one bar as well, not poly. Simple. guy hmm let's even go down another octave I find that quite annoying but I will play with that a lot with the effects Maybe if we just do something like notes like this, it should reset the envelope every time, I think. That's cool. It's pretty disorienting, I like it. Okay, how can we make this one a bit more busy? Let's uh, pick all the same notes here. Let's 
Dun, 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 dun. this one. I kind of am, just need something else a little bit. Let's make them shorter. It's kind of good, it's kind of suspenseful. Let's try this main lead up an octave. Excuse me for a second. No. I'm just gonna keep that as is. Yeah, that's gonna be fun to play. I'm trying to think of things that that'll be fun to play with with effects. So, yeah, that's that's good raw sound for the really busy shit. So let's rename this to three. Uh, this is two and not four. The hats. I'm just gonna call this scattered. These hats. We'll just call this sixteenth two. Uh, call it main poly two, main faller two, and main lead two. Very good. Now I'll copy these down for the stripped back version. good. This one I will remove the second or fourth. Wait, oh yep. Oh, I've done the wrong thing again. It doesn't matter. It's okay. That's okay. That's cool, and we can, you know, phase that out. me that sound now. It goes back up again. Dun, dun, dun. Cloud me, my fills randomization have got broken. I tried to follow you until the sound design, and you did not show how you made all scenes right after day 10. Uh, it should all be in there. There is one where I wasn't talking because I was just too stressed for time. 
Um, I will release the set, yes. Kenny asks, how big is the file containing all edited saved set now? I don't know, and I'm not going to figure that out just at this moment. Um, but I will do that at some stage near the end. I want to keep on focus here. What about if we just do triplets here? Da, da, da. Why not? Simple. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let's stop it. Uh, we need to give it a pink. So this is now track number five. Um, I need to recolor all of these. So I can select them all. Uh, I have to do it this way. That one. That one. The reason I'm doing little cosmetic things like this now is just, oh yeah, I will release this. So I want it to, you know, be as tidy as possible for the public. Okay, that is done. Let's go. Save live set as 1.1.6 track. Track five complete. Save. Let's move down. So here is track six. Where is that pink? Let's just copy that now. So this is track six. Very simple. <laughs> That synth one is too loud. Sounds good. Let's do the recoloring. <laughs> it's kind of weird doing sound design like when I know that all the stuff that's really going to affect the music is going to come after what I'm doing, just the core oscillator stuff. Okay, so let's copy this down. Bring everything down but the kick. Play the right scene. So this can be a bit busier. Maybe we could just add. Sounds good. Two and four, I'll just call it two and four one. It's not perfect. Interesting. It was kind of called the thirty seconds. Good, sixteenths. Ah, uh, we'll just be simple here. Good enough. This percussion hit. We extend this out. Yeah, cool. 
That's good enough. Let's go to the up. Go down an octave with these. Maybe up to D. Good enough variation. What's next? Another one of these guys. So let's try selecting all of these. Going ha uh, no. I'll do it manually. What about one more octave? Yeah, why not? That'll be fun to play with the effects. We'll go down again just for that last one. Cool. All right, let's duplicate these down. Starting with just the kick, of course. Bring in the bass. if I change the velocity. Nothing. How subby is that? I'm just going to turn this up. Good enough. Let's bring in this one here. Cool. Um, I should really rename these offbeat two, sixteenth two, hit two, two, two. Should be one. I don't really worry about the names at this stage. Kind of go. Cool. I think I just like the two. Awesome. Let's poly this. No, because it, it's kind of cool in responses itself. Maybe we'll just make this one bar. Do 
some really short notes here. Let's make this one four bars long and we'll do the same kind of thing as we did before but we'll again double time it Maybe just two bars long. Very good, so now let's copy this last one down, turn everything down but the bass, out of the kick. So this just needs to be simple, maybe just this, maybe one long note. Yep, keep the two and the four. Make this really short. Sixteenths. Just make them eight. Maybe we could start that on the beat. Or maybe where the snare should be. Does it change with pitch? <laughs> maybe here. Good enough. Up. So this, I'm just going to fold it. Get rid of all these notes. Sounds good. Good outro sound. 
in this one. I don't know what to do with this one. Let's just make it a one bar loop. Starting to get a little bit fatigued with uh, design here. We'll get through them all and then I'm going to probably stop the stream I think. And I might just get up in early, early and finish the rest. Always kind of get fine. How about that? That's good. That's good enough. Um, okay, so we need, we've already got the pink there. Let's save this as 1.1.7. Track six complete. Really pushing the clock here. It's great, I love it. The other day I'm like, why am I always so behind on my deadlines? And then I realized I think I just love it. So, so here's the next one. Builds up. Okay, so I need to just quickly change the colors here. Okay. So this is the main drop. Let's duplicate that down one. Trigger this thing. Get rid of everything. Everything with the kick. Kind of like that bass, how it is. Or we could do the semitone trick. Or we could go down. It's a slight difference. Two bars, raise it on the last beat. You reckon? Maybe we'll do that for the third iteration where it's the busiest. These will kind of talk together. happy with that so we'll do that trick that you just said um kenny burke hey tom thanks for sharing love your dissipation it's fast it's to the point maybe this try that no good enough on the next one really helpful cheers from the netherlands no worries man yeah gotta keep moving gotta keep moving okay so this one here <laughs> Kenny said, two bar, raise it on the last beat. Okay, let's try that. So we'll make it two bars long. It's kind of cool. 
it's quite subtle. What are we on track seven bass? Or the bass? I like that. Okay, it's near. I'm gonna keep that. What am I doing? I wonder if the velocity of that snare gets rid of the tail. Nope. We're just gonna have to do that manually when I play. That's cool. Yeah, I reckon it sounds pretty sweet. It's a cool little pattern. Alright, let's move over to these wall guys. Maybe we could put three of them. Copy this down. This is our final beat. I think this would be cool with a broken beat. down and up and down yeah why not let's put these on the yep hats 16 Try something crazy here. Triplets. Yeah, it's nice and weird. Make these all down an octave. Awesome. I reckon that's done. So there's track number seven. 
like so. And we'll save this as 1.8 track 7 complete. Excellent. I like it. Okay, cool. Just before I kick it, kick on with track eight, I'm going to be back in two seconds. One, two minutes. Be right back. Okay, sorry about that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this last one and then I'm going to end the stream. Um, it's getting kind of late and I really want to get up early tomorrow. So I know I haven't finished everything that I wanted to complete. Um, it's brainwave shit. So the brainwave stuff. Um, I need to do some falls for each track and then I just need to make some drones. So I'm going to get up early, a few hours earlier and do one more stream before the live performance. And complete that stuff um, because I'm getting quite audio fatigued now um, I'm happy with what I'm producing but um, I've pretty much been streaming all day and yeah I feel like it's going to take a toll on the quality if I continue to keep going which we don't Okie dokie, so track number eight, Lucky Last. Let's just copy that pink track across. Paste it down. Excuse me. And um, if you're not familiar, the reason I'm putting the pink track there is I'm going to get the push all the way down, all the way over here. You can kind of see on the push, right? Turn my light off. It kind of has a pink track here, so it kind of it's kind of so I know just by looking what track is next. It's just a little thing that helps. Okay. So yeah, this is the most brutal one. Let's copy that across, like so. Bring everything down like we did before, apart from the kick. Oops, I didn't copy it. Okay, let's play the track. This one has quite a long bass line. So maybe I just add some more notes in here. Let's 
I'm happy with that. Let's duplicate that. Yep. Yep. And then we'll leave that because that's a run. So what we'll do is make the grid, grid size small. Copy this. I don't know why my info panel just showed up. Paste that in there and there and there. And there and there and there and there and there and there. And there. Bring in the hats. Catch you later, Bishop. Thanks for tuning in. Whoa. That's kind of cool. Maybe we'll, we'll do that for the third one. Okay, I'm happy with that. This one's interesting. I might just make this simple though. Maybe just this loop here. Sounds good. Thirty seconds. Good enough. Big warmth. Okay, we could probably just continue that on, make it an octave lower maybe, or maybe maybe down to the uh, F. Yeah, that's okay. Doubled up some notes here. I haven't even thought about that using polyrhythmic stuff. I think I tried once, but it was on a monophonic synth. That's cool. That's a cool difference from this one. And then I'll add another layer on top of that. So let's copy that across. I'm not even going to rename them now. I'll do that in the morning. I'm just going to make this one bar for this one. And we'll just make it super heavy. Or just. What if I just fucking. I wonder what this would sound like. No, backtrack a bit. Yep. 
telescope. Let's loop this part. That could be weird. Too much. What about if we poly it like this? Yeah, it's chaos. And Polly. Dun, dun, dun. It was good there. with that and we'll do the final outro for this one <clears throat> so this base needs to be way simpler just one bar I think that'll do
composed hats. I might just leave that one, I quite like it. And we'll just go back to the main notes. Yeah, but we'll make it five, uh, four bars. Maybe try an octave down. Too much. Last loop. That's it. And that'd be a good way to finish. And there's the end of the set. So, I'm happy with that. Let's go save this live set as Techno Machine 1.8.9 track 8 complete. Doing good with my version control. Oh, that was a marathon. So that's all filled up. Um, I'm not going to play around with any of the other toys that we've made now um, I'm going to stop and I'm going to rest my ears and I'm going to get up uh, so probably in about 11 hours uh, yeah about 11 hours I'll be doing another stream for about an hour or two and then we'll do the performance tomorrow so uh, yeah thanks for tuning in guys that was a lot of fun still one more sound design to go but then we're done. So stay tuned to then, and thanks a lot. Catch you later.